Greetings and salutations New Vegas players of the Epic Games variety. In this video, I'll demonstrate how you can install the Epic Patch, NVSE, and Rudy ENB. Like and subscribe if you want more New Vegas mods in the future. I'm a sucker for social pressure. I do not recommend installing the patch with mods already enabled. As is often the case, it is best to begin with a clean installation of the game. To ensure that no loose files remain, open the installation folder and delete the Fallout New Vegas English folder. If you have previously installed an ENB, NVSE, or any other mods, latent files can corrupt your new installation. It is also important to delete any files located in Documents, My Games, Fallout New Vegas Epic, with the exception of your save games, which are optional. You should absolutely run the game before installing the patch. Doing so generates your INI and PREFS files. It is also recommended that you start a new game to ensure everything is functioning normally. If everything is working properly, you can then install Mod Organizer 2. MO2 has very clear installation instructions, thus, I will not be walking you through that. A link is included below. Once you finish installing Mod Organizer 2 or Vortex, you can manually install NVSE, the process for which is very straightforward. Download NVSE from the Nexus page provided below. I personally choose to create a file in the downloads folder, where the upcoming files can be unpacked. You can then move the NVSE file into the new folder, which I have named simply New Vegas. Extract the NVSE files to the New Vegas folder. Then, copy the unpacked files and paste them into the Fallout New Vegas English folder. You will not be running the game through the NVSE loader. Instead, run it through your mod organizer. The Fallout New Vegas English folder is called the root directory. If you request assistance from me through Discord, be aware, I will reference the root directory and will expect you to know what that is. Next, we install the patch itself. Follow the link in the description to the Nexus page and download the patch manually. If you created a New Vegas folder like I did, move the patch there and unpack it. Then, just copy the patch files to your root directory. When you run the patch, it will almost certainly be flagged by Microsoft Defender. Click where it says more info in tiny letters near the top of the pop-up window and the run anyway button should appear in the bottom right corner of the pop-up. Run the game through your mod organizer before moving to the next step. Once the game is loaded, press the tilde key between the tab and escape keys. You should see NVSE version in the bottom left corner of the screen. Close the game and prepare for the next step. Installing Rudy ENB is easy to screw up, so pay attention. Written instructions are available in the ENB's description. Review them, download the ENB binaries from the ENB dev website, and the Rudy ENB files from Nexus Mods. Both are linked below. If a link doesn't work, let me know. Transfer both ENB files to the New Vegas folder you created. Now, Unpack the ENB series files and open the folder inside labeled wrapper version. Copy the ENB host, ENB local, and d3d9.dll. Then, paste them to your root directory. Next, unpack the Rudy ENB folder and navigate to the folder labeled to Fallout New Vegas folder. And transfer all the files inside to the root directory. Finally, Go to Documents, My Games, Fallout New Vegas Epic, and open the file labeled Fallout Prefs. Once open, press Ctrl plus F to locate the INI files we need to change. Type I multi-sample equals, as seen on screen, or copy it from the description of this video and paste it into the INI search bar. Then, change the value to zero. Do the same for B, use water displacements, equals. If you don't change the values of both of these to zero, rocks and water will be transparent in ways you don't want. Bam, you're done. Uh, run the game to be sure there aren't any weird visual glitches. If you want to see what the game looks like with or without the EMB effects, press shift plus enter and toggle the use effect option. This is also how you can adjust your ENB settings. 
that's all I've got for you today, but check back for more amazing New Vegas mods. I'm Mr. Outside, and I'm hitting the bricks.